So this is just in. They just, Brittany Griner is home. They, they released her from, from the, the Russian prison. The girl who got caught with the, the weed uh, uh, cartridges and the vape pen and stuff like that. She's been released from the Russian prison. She just got swapped out in a trade for this Russian guy, Victor Bout, or whatever it is, something like that. This dude was an international arms dealer. And he was so lethal in the shit he was doing, his nickname was the Merchant of Death. They had been tracking this motherfucker down for years. Finally caught him years ago in Thailand. He had to do an asshole full of years. Can you imagine how many lives or how many deaths, I should say, he was responsible for? Internationally, he was selling arms. And if he sold illegal arms, it's a damn good chance he did what? So illegal drugs. And he had to be money, laundering money, to be doing all this shit. Do you think he's going to be a part of a Russian parole system? That motherfucker's going back to selling arms again. And she got swapped out for him. And all she was was a lesbian who plays basketball with a vape pen. Shit, I would be pumping money. When she got arrested, they was like, Brittany, don't worry. We coming for you. We coming for you. And have you seen Brittany's wife? Brittany got a, got a pretty nice looking wife. And she was out there fighting for her man while she was in prison or while he was in prison. She had motherfuckers writing letters. Shit, they got a kid. God damn. Brittany, she, man, look, that's some strong shit. If I'm a 6'9", African-American, I'm walking to a Russian airport but naked. I'm telling you, I ain't carrying shit. I'm already out this motherfucker sticking out like a sore thumb. And I'm going to carry some illegal shit with me. So I don't give a fuck if they know me as a basketball player in this motherfucker or not. You see, they snatched up anyway, right? I ain't carrying nothing illegal in no motherfucking Russia. Who the fuck does that? Who the fuck does that? She thought they were going to be distracted by that Black Lives for Peace hood. You mean to tell me that she thought they were going to be distracted by that Black Lives for Peace hoodie? Something is crazy about this case anyway from the jump. So that's, that's crazy waking up to that saying, yeah, Brittany was released. And I was tripping because I said, damn, I heard something about her. Well, they said they was putting her in a regular Russian prison in population. So I'm like, whoa, I'm like, whoa. And then for her to get released today, that means shit had to be already in the making, right? So Because it, it don't just happen like that. So what the hell was she... Just went to, you know, somewhere everybody thought, oh, shit, boy, they get ready to have Britney breaking motherfucking big rocks into small rocks and shit. Don't you know that's the sound of the man get back. working on the train. One more. Now she in America free like a motherfucker. <laughs> Which I'm very happy for. Very happy for because I heard Russia prison is a motherfucker. Even though I'm sure she was damn near like PC protected custody or whatever. Yeah, man, so she was able to get swapped. She had a fucking vape pen. They put her in jail and prison and all this shit. Here's this motherfucking merchant of death, Victor Bout, been a notorious motherfucker for years, and it was a one-to-one -one trade. West Side! I would have to say you motherfuckers are winning.